In this video, we will look at a few examples that will allow us to practice working with perpendicular lines. In the first example, it says find the measure of angle CTA. So let's find that on the picture first. Following around, we have CTA, so angle CTA would be right here. Now, one thing I notice in this picture is this little symbol right here, which you should remember is the symbol for right angles. So that means that this is a 90 degree angle. It also means that these two lines, line AS, has to be perpendicular to ray TC. And I know that they have to be perpendicular because they meet at a right angle. So if this is 90 degrees and if these two lines are perpendicular, it means that this angle over here also has to be 90 degrees. And there's a few ways you could think about that. For one, if the lines are perpendicular, it means that all angles will be 90 degrees. Also, you could remember what you know about linear pairs. These two angles make a straight line. They're a linear pair, so they have to add to 180 degrees. So that means if this angle over here is 90, then this angle over here also has to be 90. Either way, my answer is 90 degrees. Looking at example B, this one says determine the measure of angle 1. Now what I see is two parallel lines, and it's been notated that this top parallel line is perpendicular to the transversal by that right angle. Now, one thing you should know is if you have two parallel lines and one of those parallel lines is perpendicular to a third line, then both parallel lines are perpendicular to that line. So basically, this is also a right angle here. This second line has to also be or perpendicular to the transversal. So that means all of these angles down here are 90 degrees. So angle 1, or the measure of angle 1, has to be 90 degrees as well. Looking at the third example, again, we're trying to figure out the measure of angle 1. And from this, the first thing I notice is we've got 55 degrees and 35 degrees. And angle 1 is a vertical angle with this whole angle over here, okay? Because it is formed by two intersecting lines, and they're opposite from each other. So 55 degrees plus 35 degrees is 90 degrees. So that means because of vertical angles, angle 1 is again going to be 90 degrees. This also means that those two lines must be perpendicular. So we could notate that with a little right angle to show that those lines are perpendicular. So in fact, all four angles going around are each going to be 90 degrees.